Hey guys, it's Memorizer92, and today I'm gonna cover Overflowing Consensus, the Minion build. If you haven't watched the previous summoner guide about playstyle and identity, please watch that in advance since you might not understand this video. Then, let's get started. As I explained in the last video, Overflowing Consensus powers up the minion skills. It increases duration time, damage, attack speed, movement speed and reduces secondary skills cooldown. Because of this, this build uses lots of minion skills, and the DPS heavily relies on how often the minions are in the field. Let's go over to the gears and stats. For the gears, Hallucination Set is the meta since Summoner doesn't have high crit rate. For the stats, Swiftness is the main stat, and Crit is the substat. Swiftness is important for this minion build since you want to rotate minion skills as soon as possible when the duration time ends. Okay, skills. Pauru. This skill summons a fire type dog called Pauru. It gets affected by overflowing consensus class engraving. First tripod increases his damage. Second increases his damage as well. Third increases his attack speed, movement speed, and vision. It also let you to use secondary skill by clicking it again. Rune is quick recharge. El Seed. This skill summons two humanized plants called El Seed. It gets affected by overflowing consensus class engraving. First tripod increases mana consumption, but also increases summoner's attack by over 40% for 5 seconds. Second allows El Seed to pierce the shots and apply debuff on the mob that increases her damage over the time. Third makes only one El Seed instead of two, but increases damage and shot distance by a lot. Rune is Judgment. Marillion. This skill summons a bear called Marillion. It gets affected by overflowing consensus class engraving. First tripod increases his attack. Second allows you to use secondary skill. Third one increases his duration time by a lot. Ruinous quick recharge. As you can see, Pauru and Marillion have secondary skills, which is why they fit well with quick recharge runes, since pressing secondary skills also can activate the quick recharge. Ancient Spear. This is a casting skill that strikes a spear which does a lot of damage. First tripod reduces cooldown by a lot. Second changes the attribute to fire and increases damage. Third one decreases the damage by a bit, but strikes three spears instead. Rune is Gilwind. At the end of the casting, she does a floating animation. And it is pretty long, but you can cancel that animation by using first, second, or 5th Identity skill, almost at the end of the casting, just like this. Earthquake. This is a skill that does some decent damage. First tripod changes the attribute to fire and increases damage. Second tripod increases damage as well. Third tripod increases mana consumption, but increases damage as well. Rune is Focus Rune. Aqua Spirit. This is a water type skill that doesn't do much damage, but restores your mana by a lot. It is a counter skill. First tripod restores mana by a lot until the animation ends. Second increases damage. Third increases animation by one second. This means you can restore more mana. It also increases damage. Rune is Conviction. Shirudi. 
This skill summons a light that always stick to you called Shruti. Not only it does some damage, but also gives you a crit rate increase on duration time. It gets affected by overflowing consensus class engraving. First tripod increases summoner's crit rate almost by 12% on duration time. Second increases Shruti's shot distance and reduces shot interval. Third changes the attribute to holistic and does additional damage whenever Shruti lands his third shot. Rune is bleed rune. Sticky Swamp. This is a party synergy skill. First tripod increases mana consumption, but also increases summoner's attack by over 40% for 5 seconds. Second applies 12% armor break party synergy for 16 seconds. Rune is Focus Rune. For the Awakening, the first one called Calcyon that summons Calcyon which does a lot of damage. It has a secondary skill and he gets affected by overflowing consensus class engraving. Well, you can see that 416 skill points are used in KR. Since West have less skill point than KR, you can start subtracting skill point from Aqua Spirit. Because it's not a DPS skill, and as long as it has first tripod, it will still restore your mana by a lot. For the tripod upgrade, everything except for the Aqua Spirit's tripod is important to upgrade. You can see that all three tripods on Pauru, Elf Seed, Marillion, Ancient Spear, Earthquake is important. So that's 5 times 3, which is 15. And if you see Shruti, there's two tripods that has to be maxed. That's 17. And last one is from the Sticky Swamp, this one. So no need to upgrade the tripods in Aqua Spirit. Okay, this time, engravings. There are two meta builds. First one is Grudge, Keen Blunt, Adrenaline, Raid Captain, and Overflowing Consensus. Second one is dropping Adrenaline to level 2 and adding the other class engraving called Advanced Summoner at level 1. Well, Summoner used to use double class engraving before the patch, but you don't need to after the latest balance patch. That's gonna happen in November for you guys. If you want to run both because of advanced animation of identity skills like this, then you can run the second one right here. There is no big difference in DPS. Summoner needs high crit, so running level 2 or 3 adrenaline is important. And because she can reach over 60% crit rate easily thanks to crit stat, hallucination set, shrewdies buff, and adrenaline, Keen Blunt gives higher damage compared to Curse Doll or Hitmaster. If Keen Blunt is expensive, then you can run the other two instead of Keen Blunt. For the gems, you run 7 attack gems on Shruti, Marillion, Identity Skill, El Seed, Pauru, Earthquake, and Ancient Spear. And for the rest of the 4 cooldown reduction gems, you run it on El Seed, Earthquake, Ancient Spear, and Sticky Swamp. Lastly, the rotation. As I said in the previous video, whenever you use the skills, it will fill up the identity meter, which allows you to use identity skills. The skill you want to use for DPS is the fifth one called Akir, since it does the most damage. If you need destruction, then use the first one called Osh. And if you need Stagger, then use the second one called Elimage. If you have Akir, then use Sticky Swamp, Ancient Spear, and almost at the end of the casting, use Akir to cancel the animation, just like this.
If you don't have a cure, then use Sticky Swamp and then Ancient Spear. For the other skills, you can spam it whenever it's up. By the way, all the minion skills except for El Seed and Shuri follows you as you move on, like this. But you can simply press shift key to move them where your pointer is at. Well guys, that's all for today. Thanks for watching and hit the sub if you liked it. Then see you guys on the next video. Bye bye!